Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, for the meantime, we'll be doing the lecture here in this uh, series of videos. I'll be uploading this uh, YouTube para ma-access nyo anytime. You can download this or uh, share it to anyone naman, to your classmates I hope. And then for the examples and the requirements of the course, uh, tingnan ko pa kung paano yung magiging mode of uh, delivery natin. Okay? So for the lectures, uh, I'll be explaining yung laman ng slides. Through these videos, you have the access on the slides sa uh, Edmodo. They are all in PDF form. Okay. So I think, yeah, I, I think I'll start. Okay, so our topic for this video is about DC generators. I'll be introducing yung DC generators sa inyo. Uh, what I have here is the definition of the DC generators. Paano ba tayo convert ng mechanical energy to electrical energy and then what what is a prime mover and then yung power losses natin, power flow, etc. Okay. So, as we all know, as I have discussed before, DC generators converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. So, your mechanical energy is uh, the input of your machine through mechanical torque and RPM as shown in this figure dun sa right side and then you get the electrical energy dun sa terminals dun sa induce okay sorry okay so uh, this is an electromechanical induction process na na-discuss na natin from your first two chapters yung ating linear DC machine and your rotational DC machine now we have a prime mover as the source of your mechanical energy and usually ang ating prime movers are uh, what do I have here turbines so you have steam turbines and water turbines uh, sometimes meron din tayong diesel engine okay now in terms of power flow you have the mechanical input as the input ng ating generator and then the output would be your electrical energy so your your mechanical energy is in the form of tau omega as you can see in the figure and then on the output side the electrical energy you have the voltage and the current na makukuha mo sa terminals that's basically the voltage at the terminals and the current at the line now from your mechanical energy to your electrical energy you have the following uh, power losses you have the what's this the input energy the mechanical energy and then ignore muna natin stray losses and then after the mechanical energy you 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 deduce the mechanical the mechanical losses and the core losses after those two and then ka na ngayon sa p convert now p convert is equivalent to your p develop at some literature and the idea of p convert is yun yung point where the electrical energy is directly translatable to mechanical energy through tau omega equals uh, e times i. So I have discussed this before in the lecture. Uh, yung, yung formula na yan, we, we've been using that. Now, <clears throat> your P input is not easily convertible to uh, your electrical output because you have the losses. You have the, you have the following losses uh, na naka-describe dyan. Okay? So, after removing the mechanical and the core losses, wag muna natin itindihin yung stray losses. You have the P-convert. And the P-convert is the one na pwede mo i-convert yung mechanical tau omega into electrical uh, voltage and current. Now, P-convert is not yet uh, P-output. Okay, hindi pa yan yung makukuha mong electrical energy. The electrical energy na makukuha mo from the P-convert ay babawasan mo pa ng I squared. I squared are losses. Your your copper losses. Basically, that's, those are the losses in the armature. Hello po. Those are the losses in the uh, armature. Uh, saan pa ba? You have the the field. Yes. Okay. Uh, in, in some cases, but uh, we, we'll, we'll go to that later. Okay. Now, uh, yeah. Okay. Sige. Now you have the following definitions. You have the mechanical losses. This is yung diniscuss ko before. Yeah. Mechanical losses are basically uh, due to your friction and windage. 
uh, that's about 10 to 20 percent of the machine full load losses and then you have the core losses basically it's because of the hysteresis and eddy current loss uh, na discuss ko yung hysteresis and eddy current loss on your chapter 1 that's yeah that's chapter 1 Okay, and then yung formula ng hysteresis and the current loss It's uh, about 20 to 30% ng machine full load losses That's the total power loss And then you have the copper losses So your copper losses can be subdivided into your armature and, and field uh, Yaan yung pinakamalaking loss ng, ng rotating machine So the, the, the idea is if you have a generator that is rated at let's say uh, I don't know, maybe... 10, 10, 10, 100, 100 watts or maybe 1 kilowatt, 1 kilowatt, <coughs> 1 kilowatt uh, na generator, uh, yeah, yeah, if the output of the generator is 1 kilowatt, then you have to have an input of greater than 1 kilowatt because of the losses. <coughs> Now, your brush losses are also categorized as uh, electrical losses kasi they, they are because of the uh, voltage drop at the brushes, okay? So, usually, your voltage drop at the brushes is 2 volts total voltage drop for the carbon brush and uh, we have a more efficient one, yung ating metal graphite brush na 0.5 volts lang ang voltage drop. Now, Kung if you have ac uh, accounted for all of the losses and then meron pang losses na, na nawawala uh, let's say yeah you have uh, uh, what, what, uh, you have a machine na merong 10 kilowatts yung output 11 kilowatts yung input and then accounting all of the losses ang na compute mo lang na loss ay uh, let's say 0.8 kilowatts so yung hindi mo ma-account uh, we we, we we call that stray losses. Okay, it it does not fall under mechanical, electrical, and core loss. Basically, hindi natin alam kung nasan siya. Para siyang ganun. Okay, now, <clears throat> if we talk about the efficiency of the machine, we have three efficiencies. You have the electrical efficiency. It's basically the, if we, uh, the an easy way to think about this is the electrical efficiency is yung efficiency mo due to your electrical losses. So, yung electrical losses mo, nawawala lang naman yun after the P-convert. So, that's why your electrical efficiency is P-out over P-convert. Now, your mechanical efficiency is something that is, is your efficiency due to your mechanical losses. Okay, so nawawala yun uh, at the beginning, before the P-convert naman. So, that is P-convert over P-input. As you, as, you, as you can see, your efficiency is always P-out over P-in. Nagbabago lang siya ng out or in. Depende kung siya electrical or mechanical. We also have the commercial efficiency, your total efficiency. That is your P-out over P-in. Yun na yun. Okay? So, of course, all of them are times 100% para naka-percentage ang ating uh, efficiency. For the voltage regulation, this is your uh, performance uh, what do you call this? This is how you measure, yeah. This is how you measure the performance of your generator. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is how you measure the performance of your generator. You have the voltage regulation, which is basically, ano ba yung voltage niya at no load? Versus ano yung voltage niya at, at full load? Okay. Divided by voltage at at full load. Okay. So you'll see the differences in the voltages kapag kabi na bago mo kasi yung yung loading. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm uh, we, we'll look into that in the examples later on. But uh, yung voltages kasi ng generator eh, nagbabago siya depende sa depende sa loading and by by loading ibig sabihin depende sa P-out. Okay. So uh, kung mabago yung loading ng machine, magbabago rin yung voltage at the, at the terminals. Uh, we have the field excitation. This is the excitation ng ating magnetic field. Because in this case, uh, for, for the following... Uh, 
topics pa within this chapter ng DC Generators. Medyo maingay dito. For the following chapters pa ng no, ating DC Generators, wait lang. Okay. Uh, we'll be talking about, uh, we'll, we'll be dealing with electromagnets, hindi na permanent magnets. Okay, so, uh, yung ating magnetic field ay manggagaling na sa ating electromagnets. So, there are uh, connections ng DC generators na nakadepende yung, yung excitation ng field dun sa voltage dun sa terminal natin. Or, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that later on pa. Okay. Uh, this is used on larger machines usually kasi in larger machines hindi practical gumamit ng permanent magnets mabigat siya and mas mas madali makakuha ng mas malakas na magnetic field uh, kung electromagnet ka when it comes to your larger machines okay Excitation is the process of utilizing an electrical. Okay, okay. Yeah, electric current through the field coils to produce a magnetic field. So basically, the idea here is you have a separate coil, another coil that is not an armature, that is not a part of the armature, and then yung coil na yon ay pwedeng may separate na voltage source. Pwede ring yung voltage source niya ito sa terminals and generator itself. Pero uh, I guess ang pinakamadali ay may separation source and then you excite that field through that source. So, mag, mag, lalagay ka sa kanya ng current and then dahil dun sa current na nagpo-flow dun sa, sa coil, meron kang may indus na magnetic field. So, that's called excitation. <coughs> okay. So, this is your equivalent circuit for a uh, what's this? A DC generator. So, this is a separately excited DC generator. As you can see, you have the free field coil separate from the DC generator armature coil itself. Okay? So, you have two terminals here. Yung terminals na VT dito sa side na to. This, which one? This one. Uh, on the right side. Diyan yung output terminals ng generator. Now, the field coils terminals dun sa VF natin. Okay? Diyan basically nilalagay yung DC source mo para makapag magkaroon ka ng excitation ng field. Done. So magkakaroon ka ng voltage doon dahil sa source mo and then you have a current flowing through that coil and then that coil produces a magnetic field na gagamitin nung right side coil para makapag-produce ng, ng voltage. Okay? So if you look at the direction of the currents, this one is, ito yung pinaka-importante dito. If you look at the direction of the currents, in sa field coil, you have the direction of the current going through the coil kasi nga sinusupply ng voltage source yung coil mo to produce a magnetic field. Now, dun sa armature side, because this is a generator, what you're actually producing is yung current mo, eh, yung electrical current mo. Okay? That's why it's going out of the terminals and you have the voltage terminal. So, sir, saan po rito yung input ng ating generator? As you can see, you have the EA, that is basically the induced voltage of the armature. The induced voltage of the armature, dyan nagkakaroon ng P-convert. Okay, so as you can see, you have the P-convert at the EA side. And then, you subtract the losses dun sa armature, and then you get the P-out. Okay. Now on the P on the on the EA and then you P convert. So before the P convert, you have the mechanical losses. You have the core losses. You have the core core losses and then you have the mechanical losses. Yes. Okay. And then and then then yung yung P in. So it's basically the P in is basically your power at EA plus your mechanical losses plus your core losses plus stray losses. Kung may stray losses man tayo ko consider. Okay. Uh, so here's the formula for for EA. Tong I'm not sure kung uh, wait. Uh -huh. Ah wait. 
Okay, so here is the formula for EA. Basically, nanggaling lang siya dito sa iyong i-industry calls VBL. Now, uh, if you look at the formula, you have the velocity na nandito sa R omega na to. You have the length. Okay, still, andiyan pa rin yung length. And you have the magnetic field. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you have the magnetic field phi and and A. So, meron pa tayong mga hindi na account. You have the the Z and the parallel path. Oh, sir, bakit bakit merong Z and merong A, small a? That is the the parallel path. Uh, if you still remember this formula, this E induced formula. This is the E induced per per conductor. So, for the whole armature, your, your whole armature kasi is composed of a set of conductors that are connected in series and in parallel, depende sa parallel paths. Okay, so that's why you have to multiply it by the number of conductors per parallel path. Okay, hindi siya pwedeng to the total number of conductors lang kasi hindi naman lahat ng conductors na yun ay nakasiris. So, you have to consider na yung total number of conductors na yun ay divided equally on well, ideally, it's divided equally on the number of parallel paths. Uh, if you can still remember kung paano nyo ginagawa yung parallel paths on the what's that? On the ha ha ha, sorry, wait lang. <laughs> on the laboratory, yes. Okay. So, for the for the area